Hi everyone, excited to share with you another custom die that I designed with AccuCut Craft Custom Shape Pros. I designed a baby crib and let me share with you the die cuts. And this is the solid piece right here. And I designed it again just like my other custom dies to where it's able to stand up. And I'm really excited how it turned out. It's six and three quarter inches in width and then six inches in height and then this is the cover piece so that's what that looks like so that's what it looks like together and then I designed a separate piece which is a mobile that I can adhere to the crib so that it would look like that and I'm really excited and so let me share with you uh, what I created I made a boy uh, baby crib mini album and then I also made a girl baby crib card so you kinda can see what it looks like for both a boy and a girl so this I created for my nephew and this is what it looks like when it's standing up and I used one of my favorite design papers by Prima, which is the Nursery Tales collection. It had a lot of really pretty blues and greens in this collection, and it was just perfect for this project. What I did to the front cover was pretty much the same concept of what I did with the birdcage. I first painted it with the raw umber uh, in the Americana acrylic paint. And then I went over it with the crackle medium and then went over it with the folk art vintage photo I'm sorry vintage white acrylic paint and then I just stressed it over with the walnut stain distress ink so it gave it more of an aged look because I wanted to be able to see other ways other than adding design paper to the medium weight chipboard what else I could do um, to the cover of the crib. So there's many different things I can do. I could stain it, I can paint it, I can add design paper, you know, and there's so much more. And so that's what I did to this one. And then as you can see, I added the mobile. I took um, some medium weight chipboard and then adhered the design paper on that, just dressed it with the walnut stain, and then added these butterflies um, using my favorite. Martha Stewart um, butterfly punch. For the next one I'm going to create, I want to add some string and maybe hang. I'll probably make this go a little bit higher so you can see the string and the butterflies hanging. And then for here I added some Prima trim and then I cut out this um, rabbit image from the design paper. It's one of my favorite images from this collection. And then I just covered it with some um, stickles and then I use a lot of embellishments from Carla, and I'll have her Etsy link down below. So I titled it Baby, and it was originally uh, black. These were some thickers. I just painted it over with the raw umber to kind of go with the crib. And then here's Carla's trim, really beautiful brown ruffle trim. And then I used all my flowers in here I used um, are from I Am Roses and Frog Feathers. And then I added a butterfly right here. And then this is Carla's bird that I added right here. And then I bind it with a binding ring. And then I add some seam binding that I stayed, um, stained with the Simply Khaki. And then here you can see an Iron Roses spray. It's one of my favorite sprays. And so that's my cover. And all the pages I stained with the walnut stain. And then the back of that one I actually added design paper. And you can see how I adhered the mobile. I added some hot glue. So I'm probably going to maybe place a flower right here so um, it covers a little bit of the, the stand piece right here. And then I added some iron roses, flowers, and leaves. And then this page, I add some vintage trim that I received from my mom. And then here are some flowers. And this is Carla's butterfly. And this is a Sizzix pocket die. And then I cut out this flower image from the design paper and then just add an Iron Roses flower on there. So there's a lots of room to add a 4x6 photo. And then this page right here, I basically cut the design paper to create the photo mat. Um, it's 
four and three quarters inches wide by three and a quarter inches in height. It's basically this size right here of what this piece is right here. That's what that size is. And then um, I added some trim right here. And this is another butterfly punch from Martha Stewart, which is this punch right here. And then I add a frog feathers um, flower here. And this is in a really pretty, it's like a buttercup yellow. It's a really beautiful yellow. And then on this page, I added another Sizzix pocket. And then the butterfly right here. And then some Prima trim, some Iron Roses. Again, created a photo mat. I distressed them all using my distressing tool. And then I distressed it with the uh, walnut stain distress ink. And then this is sentiment is from this stamp set that I got from Michaels by Recollections. It's called Label Me Tough. It's all about boys. And then I stamped that with the Stampin' Up! Chocolate Chip ink. And not sure if you could see it, but I went over the letters. You can see that shimmer on it. Using my um, Copic at You Speak a marker. And the brown. I always love to, on many of my projects, use the um, at you speak a marker over my scent stamp sentiments so it gives the words a little more shimmer and then I uh, just stress the edge with the walnut stain and this is um, one of my favorite Stampin' Up! punches this punch right here and then on this page right here this design paper had this rabbit in the green and also in the blue so I added both of those on, on this album and then I had some Iron Moses flowers in the corner right here. And then this again is from that stamp set. says boys will be boys. And then here I created again another photo mat. This frog feathers trim. And then some flat back pearls that I got from Joann's. That I added right here. And then um, some Iron Moses flowers and leaves. And then right here this is Carla's burlap trim. I love this really fun to incorporate in your projects. And this is an Iron Roses spray. And then again this is using that stamp set. This is 100% boy. And I first um, used the 2 inch scallop circle punch. So I, um, I punched out some design paper from the same collection. And then I stamped this image onto some design paper. And then I punch that out with the one and three quarter inch circle punch. And then added some Iron Roses flowers right there. And then this page, again, another photo mat. And these are Carla's mini um, pearls. And then this is using another Stampin' Up! punch. And then this is another sentiment from the stamp set. And again, I went over it with my At You Speak a marker. See that glitter. And some Iron Roses flowers. And then Carla's spray. And then here, another photo mat, and again, the Martha Stewart butterfly punch, and then another frog feathers flower. Really fun album to make, and I love how it just stands up, and it just displays really um, beautifully on the table, or, you know, it would be perfect in a nursery room. And so I made this for my nephew. And then I also made a card because I, I wanted to see what it looks like for a boy theme and a girl's theme. So I made a card for the girl's theme and I used some textured cardstock. And I put the textured in the inside versus it on the outside. And then I created some, oh, sorry about the shadow, um, some, added some design paper. And this is using the King Company watercolor bouquet collection. Really beautiful collection and one of my favorites. And then I basically um, cut out the cardstock and then I added the design paper on top of the cardstock. Then I took some medium weight chipboard uh, for the front cover and then added the design paper on top of that and then adhered that onto the card. And then oh, I am Rose's flowers and I spray that with the Lindy Stamp Gang, the scintillating silver, really beautiful shimmer. And then this is a um, die cut chipboard piece from um, the Olivia Collection by Basic Ray. It's from this pack right here that I got from Green Tangerines. 
and the sentiment says too cute for words and then that's from the girl set it's called label me sweet by recollections that I got at Michael's and then um, again the Stampin' Up Punch and then these trims I got from Green Tangerines really beautiful and then these are Carla's beautiful flower trims and then Carla's beautiful pink leaf sprays and then I just dressed everything with a vintage photo and I love how it turned out and I'm gonna make a girl baby crib album next it's really fun to um, create so I wanted to share that with all of you I might have some of these chipboards available I'm not sure when um, but I'll keep you posted and um, I'll put it either on my blog or I'll follow up on my Facebook or on YouTube. So thanks everyone for watching. Bye.